Hey, what do you think about my shirt? Pretty slick, huh? Yeah, I like blue. That's a pretty good color. You like it all right, huh? You must not know its special properties. No, what would its special properties be? It's rather simple, really. Stripes are rather slimming, don't you know? Yeah, that only applies to vertical stripes. It doesn't work that way at all for horizontal stripes. Ah, oh, crap! Hiya folks, Rudinagi here, getting back into Tower Fortress. And... Mm, excuse me. I did already unlock the seeking suit. I've unlocked some of the extra ones. And I have very little money left because... Uh, oh, excuse me. I did finish a round of the game using the cash suit. Which isn't a huge accomplishment, I don't think. Even though it has no strengths, it also has no weaknesses. <coughs> so that wasn't incredibly hard. But since <coughs> I had already finished the game... <coughs> excuse me. Using the cash off-camera, I was like, oh, that's kind of disappointing in a way. It's like, I thought I'd go ahead and play once with the Seeker just to see how it would feel. Because it's like, hey, I, I just got enough money. It's like, I want to <laughs> um, enjoy the benefits, the fruits of my labor. And it's completely broken, which surprises nobody, I imagine. But this is uh, easy mode, do nothing and win. <clears throat> Let's see, first jump is also a spin jump, doesn't really matter that much. That thing completely sucks because it surrounds you in an incredibly small radius. You see that little light source that the character gives around them? It's about that tight. <laughs> so it's it's not a good thing. I'll go ahead and use this just because the other ones are complete rubbish. <laughs> but yeah, there's no thought necessary for this. It's um It's just ridiculous, basically. And it's like, well, no wonder people do speedruns using this weapon. Oh, dang it, I got hit, so I lost my combo. Dang it, I was trying to get the 100 combo. That's one of the few achievements I have yet, yet to uh, garner. <coughs> the one downside is that it's you gotta kill more enemies to get on upgrades and unlocks. And if you get something like a set that's completely worthless, then it's like, well, there goes that. Yeah, I don't know what sets up the trajectory that actually starts looking up, because it'll just focus horizontally for a long time, and then at a certain point, like, someone will just start shooting, shooting straight up, and otherwise, you know, it's um, <laughs> yeah, see, I was facing to the left there, and did nothing. Hot damn. Get out of here, you stupid spider. There. I mean, the only way you can really fail is just getting lousy upgrade selection. <coughs> uh, revive, that's always good. Getting two for the price of one on the heels to the left there, that's very good as well. But between that and revive, I'm gonna go with revive, of course. But yeah, you see that these bullets, once they get that upward trajectory and they're just constantly shooting up, there's it's just easy mode. Because you don't have to think, you don't pay any attention, you just jump. And you can just hold down the fire button too, that's what also makes it completely broken. But there's an achievement for beating the entire game in under 15 minutes. That requires no effort or thought whatsoever when you use this suit. Which I have to admit does kind of have that sort of pay to win vibe to it. Not literally, because, you know, there's no in-game, no real life money was spent to get this. But just with how drastic of a difference it makes. You know, it's night and day 
<laughs> between how you play the game otherwise, the experience you'll have, and then as soon as you get this suit, it's like, oh, I'm not even... Crap, crap, crap. Trying to get rid of this ammo just completely. Okay, good, I still got my combo going. I mean, that tells you something, it's like, oh, I got a special weapon from a chest. Quick, get rid of all the ammo. It's no good. Crap, dang, damn it. Uh. The boss is their only thing that can really throw you off. And this boss isn't really hard, but he's just kind of obnoxious. But, um... Let's see where I thought that came to mind. Uh, I don't really want. Ah, I swear, some of these are so obnoxious. Fine. <coughs> but yeah, some of the ones that are the best for this game, some of the best uh, upgrades you can possibly get would be. The one that does more damage per bullet, that's also a good one besides just penetration. Because I got that my very first time when I was trying this out, and it's like, oh man, that was amazing. But not getting it, as the fact that I'm also not getting the peers, which is just dumb luck, which also is compounded by how <laughs> you have fewer unlocks. It just limits your capabilities, it limits your potential. And it's not that the game is necessarily harder in this. Gosh darn it! I swear, I hate the timed nature of playing this area. I hate it so much. Because it just changes the dynamic of the game. And even the last area doesn't do this crap, do you? Where you have to move constantly up. Which goes against kind of your toolbox. You don't have a lot of. I mean, it's possible to get by, but it's just a simple way to make you more vulnerable. Ah, <sighs> uh, sure. See, again, these all suck. And this is. A case where if they were to take out the ones that are just kind of completely worthless, you'd have a lot less upgrades because they're either situationally useful or they just plain suck. You know, there's not a lot of uh, middle ground. A lot of them are either really amazing or it's like, oh, this thing sucks. Why would I ever want that? But yeah, um, it's almost ironic that playing this mode, or playing with this suit, where everything kind of goes to uh, easy mode, sort of brings out some of the flaws of the game, with how it works. Like, even though it's homing, I had to get right at the same level as this enemy is for them to do anything. Now that they don't pierce, well now he's completely safe and I can't do jack, and I just have to sit here and wait. Dang it! Ugh. I don't really have any fears of dying at this point, but it's like, uh Getting the right setup so I can get a freaking 100 combo for the achievement, it's like, gosh darn it, it's just dumb luck. And again, I understand that's kind of the nature of these games where there's dumb luck and skill and the whole balance and the back and forth, but... Ah, uh, this... Oh, I hate this, 
that up so much. Frick! What? Do I have- oh, I have sturdy boots. I was trying to get up here without using it, though. Man, it, it is a pain in the neck. Those areas where there's all the spikes on the floor? It's... It's just kind of annoying. But what's funny is... Uh, with this weapon, if it basically does its job well, you won't even know that... You won't even be aware of enemies being above you until you get there and get their gems. Because that's what makes this area at all potentially hazardous or difficult. Is, well, yes, the enemies are strong and they have a lot of, you know, to an extent of being bullet sponges. But it's just the unseen. And it really makes you play these areas quite slowly. Usually. But, you know, this weapon breaks the entire game, so you don't need to do that anymore, and all of these weak enemies that, again, since uh, all enemies do the same amount of damage to you, which is one, um, you know, the enemies, they'll use enemies from weaker areas, like the spiders, like the uh, green bats. I guess all the enemies are green, so it's kind of a worthless descriptor, but the point being, like that bat, it is seriously, it won't angle up that slight distance to get that spider. Stupid humming attacks. But anyways, my point being, now these all kind of suck. <sighs> sure. Again, crappy choices. <coughs> I think the attract pickup is also like complete rubbish. I don't see it having any use, but um. Yeah, it's, since that enemy will chase toward you, that's a really good enemy for this area, because they cling to ceilings, and it's like, oh, I, you didn't see that coming, literally, and so you got hit all of a sudden. And it's like, it's not because it's hard. Not because it's a tough enemy to deal with, it's because <laughs> he just didn't see it coming. Same with the spider that clings to the ceiling, and then it just drops on you from nowhere. That's why they use them. Dang it! Ugh. See how this is also really broken? And here's an, an, ex, an, ex, an exception where even though I'm flat and the enemy is quite a bit above me, it will angle up to kill this thing's tentacles. So it's like it won't deal with the previous boss <coughs> being above me. It can't recognize that, but it can recognize this. And it's like, what? Well, it did for a while, anyways. But yeah, the, it's kind of a real mixed bag as well, because at this point, I mean, I beat the game... Weird. Oh, well. I beat the game using cash. So, I... I didn't need this in order to beat the game. But what's funny is that um, there's really no reward for beating the game, for killing the final boss. And so playing this, playing with this character, you know, playing this mode, just playing the game over and over again using this suit, isn't really rewarding unless I'm going for very specific achievements where this would be helpful, like the 100. That would be very helpful. But unless I'm trying to farm an achievement, since actually beating the game, like being this boss doesn't net a big reward. There's not like, ooh, look at all that money you got from killing the boss. It's like, nope. You don't get a huge payday. Which, honestly, I think is pretty stupid. 
like you hit the... Ooh. You did the job you were supposed to do. Good job. You are a hero. You get a base. Very basic indeed. Yeah, this attack is kind of interesting. Oh, but really easy to dodge. I think some people would be inclined to dodge through the middle, but I think flight through the wall is actually the better choice. Okay, now it's gonna shoot the cluster, right? there, obviously. I don't know what that's all about. Come on! Angle up and shoot it! Oh, in case you're wondering, basically, you would get... You would be doing the same thing if you weren't using this weapon. You would just double, double jump up to about that height. Almost a full jump, and then shoot. You're not even hitting the eye, so I'm not sure what you're necessarily trying to aim at specifically, but yeah. See, that's your reward. About 20, 30 gems? So it's like, ooh, big deal. I'm such a grand hero. Ooh. And it's like, ah, it's just very disappointing or I wouldn't say exactly disappointing, but <laughs> anticlimactic. It was still kind of fun, you know. I suppose I do have to apologize for not recording my first successful runs, but <laughs> again, I didn't want this to be a forever, ever, multiple, multiple sessions. I actually didn't have to play through as much of this game as I might have thought. I think it only took me four hours and some change to get this suit and to get my first clear. <coughs> I was expecting it to take a little bit longer. I guess I really shouldn't have when I was getting to the third area pretty early on, but you no, know, you never really can tell. But I think another thing that's disappointing is um, it seems like at some point they made an update where there used to be 25 suits to unlock. They increased it to 40, but you don't get the new suits from the suit select by doing certain clear conditions, like make progress in the game, beat the boss at certain uh, conditions, or use certain suits, or don't take any damage, yada yada yada. <coughs> there wasn't any... You just, there was no real thought put into it. Maybe into the general design, but yeah, nothing as far as a unique unlock condition. Just, just buy it. Just take more money to buy more suits. And it's like, ah. Uh. <clears throat> and again, even if there were 25, let me count how many I have currently. Starting at classic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, ten, no, nine, ten. And then there should just be the seeker. So it looks like I have eleven unlocked. And that one's ten thousand. So we've got three in a row that are over ten thousand. And then several that are quite a few thousand. There's another ten thousand. I mean, he's, it's just so expensive. And this one gives three times the gems. You only have one HP. <laughs> so I feel like that's completely pointless. You would just die so quickly. And I don't understand. Why is it that the one that lets you grind for more money is just really expensive? It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But at this point, I only have... 11 suits out of 40 and I've played this for four hours. I can already beat the game. I don't have any incentive to keep playing You know if it weren't for this uh, Recording session wanting to show that suit off me being the game once 
<coughs> how broken that is. And it's like, true, I could play with another suit, show off what they do, but I don't really want to. Again, what's my incentive? To keep unlocking suits? To keep playing the game that I've already beaten? And it doesn't even give a really significant good reward for being in the game, let alone multiple times? I mean, it's like, if you're going to have all these suits that cost so much money, give big money rewards! Throw out the gems! Be a little more generous! Ah. And it, again, I understand this game was ported from mobile. It should always be kind of a yellow flag for me, but... It looked interesting. It didn't look like it'd be too hard. Turns out it wasn't. I did enjoy it for what it was. <coughs> just kind of a light, casual game I could play. But I'm just really irked. And, and I'm going to go ahead and spend the money. Get 12 unlocked. Ooh, yay. But it's like, there's no way in hell I'm going to play this game this long to unlock everything. You're out of your darn mind. And let alone when some of them are just different costumes for Pete's sakes. Thanks, game. What a reward. Tower Fortress. I think that's got a good ring to it. Don't you mean Fortress Tower? Is that what we were going with? I thought it was TF, not FT. No, I'm pretty sure we were going FT because it's alphabetical. It's a lot easier to remember the order that way. Oh, that sounds right, but I could have sworn we were going for the tower aspect because you climb straight up. Hey, you got me all confused. That sounds reasonable. I tell you what, let's just flip a coin. Heads for one, tails for the other. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how the title of this game came to be.